Mika is the first buff to physical damage we have received in a long time, and as such, he's been very hyped by the community in the past few weeks, both as a potential savior for this specific damage type in the game, and for how it could help Eula in particular. In a video that is now removed, I've already talked about his kit and potential synergy with Eula. In this one, I'll go more in depth about his potential to explain how valuable he could actually be. Let's get straight into it. Much like other dedicated supports in Genshin Impact, Mika comes with a kit that provides decent but not great supportive effects unless you own his Constellation 6. Before that, his combination of attack speed buffs and physical damage buffs can be helpful, but won't really justify using him on a team as a dedicated support. In particular, attack speed buffs can be quite deceitful, as while they might appear as great, the reality is that since they're negatively affected by hit lag, which is something all melee characters suffer from, that has little impact on characters such as Yula and Zhong Li. Based on the teams I've calculated, Mika is considerably worse from a damage contribution standpoint compared to other possible alternatives, like Yun Jin and Rosaria, if he's not a Constellation 6. While this might seem an unfair premise, it's good to remember that as a new 4 star character who's likely just appearing on a rerun, getting a Constellation 6 Mika will be a tall task. The issue with his damage contribution is also due to the fact that a big chunk of his power budget went into his defensive side, as his elemental burst fully revolves around healing allies. This makes his archetype more similar to Zhong Li, since he's usually a good support for Yula thanks to his resistance reduction effects and capability to hold the tenacity of Milalit set, or to Bennett, the most popular offensive support in the game. Suddenly for Mika, up to Constellation 6, he still slightly falls short to Zhong Li for Eula teams, and only compares to Bennett if he has it. The bigger picture is that for Eula teams specifically, Mika isn't an incredible fit, as crazy as it might sound. I already explained this in the older video, but basically, since Eula contributes to just 60 to 70% of the team's rotation damage, while the rest is dealt by supports such as Raiden and Rosaria, Mika has a smaller impact compared to what somebody like Ferrazan can do for Xiao or Wanderer, for example, since Mika's buffs will just affect that 60%, while Ferrazan buffs characters that can easily reach 90% team damage contribution. This wouldn't be a huge deal if you could effectively replace somebody like Rosaria for Bennett and try to make the Eula team more similar to a traditional hyper carry team, but that's not a very good alternative since removing Rosaria from the team would result in Hula having higher ER requirements, which Mika by himself can't really sustain, as his particle generation per rotation is pretty mediocre due to his high cooldowns, as opposed to units like Shen He, Diona and the already mentioned Rosaria, who can use their skills multiple times a rotation to batter Hula better than he could. Last but not least, it appears Mika's physical damage buffs won't apply to characters when they're not on field. This was assumed to be an issue for Eula, since at Constellation Zero she can preemptively leave the field right before her Lightfall Sword hits its time limit, to save a small fraction of rotation time. This is honestly not a big deal, as you can just avoid doing that since it's not very intuitive anyway, but it does sting for a Constellation 6 Eula since leaving the field early is very common for her speedrun tactics. It's worth noting that it's not like Constellation 6 Eula needs more damage anyway, but it's just funny that Mika doesn't even seem to work perfectly from a structural standpoint with the main damage dealer he's supposed to support. Actually, this might be more of a Eula issue than a Mika issue, because the reality is that Eula is just a very problematic character due to how restrictive she is in terms of team building. If a better physical damage dealer, who can fit better into hyper carry structures and maybe has smaller ER requirements comes out, Mika could shine more. For comparison, I've calculated Mika on Zhongli Pike teams. For those who don't know, 
Zhang Li can be a competent physical damage dealer if equipped with Crescent Pike, a weapon that adds an attack motion value to each auto attack hit. Since Zhang Li has a very fast string of hits, and specifically an auto attack that hits 4 times rapidly, that allows him to take advantage of the weapon's passive like nobody else in the game. Since all he needs to do is to attack opponents normally and use his elemental skill, Zhang Li can be considered a low requirement physical damage dealer, who you can surround with whatever team structure you want to. The best compositions for this archetype is Zhang Li, Yunjin, Fischl and Rosaria. I've tried replacing Rosaria with Constellation 6 Mika, and the results were pretty good, since Mika can provide a much higher buff to Zhong Li than Rosaria can, and since the latter's raw damage contribution on this team is generally on the low side, not much is lost from that perspective. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that on a team where you don't have the limitations a character like Yuda imposes, Mika can be a pretty great support at Constellation 6. However, I wouldn't call this a silver lining for Mika. While his impact can be potentially useful, there just isn't a good enough physical carry that will make great use of him yet. In short, I would advise against pulling just for him as of right now. I'm done for today. If you haven't done it already, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time!